Alright, hello everyone, Shrug here. This is sort of part two, but not. It's a kind of standalone video. And what I'm going to be showing you is how to make your Minecraft world textured in Maya. So if you've watched my previous video, you'll be up to this stage here, which I'm at. And now let's get started. So, actually, to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to select our, our world that we've just imported and you'd want to click on this icon here which will bring up this panel then click on this um, icon here with the blue ball and the star create which is create a new layer and assign the selected objects to that layer so click that double click on it I'm going to name this world now click save and click on it um, twice to make it on this button here twice to make this a reference so now we just cannot select it no matter what we do, which is good. So I'm going to go rendering now, hypershade, and bring up the hypershade menu. So there we go. Now, this is all our textures as of now, but we want to make them actual Minecraft textures, which is a very easy thing to do. So we're going to double click on the dirt, drag ambient color right down, and click on this checker. Click file, filter type to off, put the file here, and we want to find the location where we exported our world to. So I name, made this tutorial world. Now let's find dirt.png under the text folder. So we're going to open that up. Now that's done. I'm going to open up now dirt grass, which is the dirt with grass on top, or side face of dirt and basically repeat what we did for dirt so but now our texture folder will be remembered so we don't need to go and find that again so dirt grass done now grass top we do the same thing we'll just do it a little bit faster this time so grass top done now let's go a bit more advanced and Let's work with um, objects of transparency. So select the flower yellow or flower red if you've got one on screen, or a mushroom for that in that case. I'm going to drag the ambient color right down, click on the checker, file, filter type off. By the way, filter type off. This basically means that the texture will not be blurred together, and the pixels will not be merged, so it just stays to, true to Minecraft. Now, Anyway, let's find the flower yellow, the PNG, and I'm going to exit out of that. Now, right click on the flower yellow and move your mouse down while holding right click to graph network. You'll come up with this here in your work area. So, middle mouse click on your texture here. It might come out kind of ugly, but that's because it's got transparency. Now, whilst you're holding with the middle mouse button, drag that over to the main texture on the sphere. Let go and drag your mouse down to, or don't drag, just move your mouse down to transparency. Click on that and there you go, transparent object in Minecraft. Now to make it look better, because as you can see down here actually, now here's another handy tip. Click on this, this will show textures. Without it, it will just show grey, which you don't want. So textures. Now let's find a yellow flower. Now where's one? Now here's one. So that looks kind of ugly because that's unfiltered. And, um, but we can make it filtered by coming down to hardware texturing under the attribute er editor and click on texture filter nearest. And now that will change to pixelated, which is good. Everyone likes that. So now we've got that, we can just finish doing that to some of the other main ones like leaves. So leaves are also transparent. Just so you know, image name, we're going to find leaves oak. Oops, wrong one. And where's the leaves? There we go, graph network, drag, transparency. So log oak. And 
color off, color is a file, and that's off. Now, let me go log oak, which, yeah, there we go, sweet. Now, any other ones that we need, so, ah, here we go, tall grass and vines. So we'll just do these last two, and then I'll show you how to import a character and kind of render it. I won't do any moving of the character. I'll also show you how to import your own skin onto the character. So now this is tall grass, tall grass. PNG, there we go. Right click, graph network, drag transparency, and same for the vines. Oops, we'll do this the other way around then. <laughs> um, so now this is leaves, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, vines. That's it. Vines. Filter that off. And just close this, graph network, drag, transparency, done, swing. Oh, water, there we go. This is another thing for water. I'm going to drag ambient color off and transparency up, so water is transparent. Now, going back to file, turn it off, and all the way down to the end to find water. Now, since we've added manual transparency, we don't need to worry about doing anything else for that. But another thing you could do is, actually I think this is, uh, is this reflective? I'm not too sure. Um, I believe it's automatically set to be reflective. Anyway, here we go, so we've got our kind of textured scene. I haven't done the sand, but it's not too important. And water is transparent. So you can see through it. And now let's import a character. Uh, I'll add a download link to this uh, character rig that I made a while back. So it'll be handy for you. So I'm going to click import. Find the folder that you s unzipped it to. So I'm going to do this one. And I, I'll choose Steve with Swords, eh? This is one I made a while, a while back. Now we've got him here, he's all nice and textured. Grab the main controller and shift him up. Now all clever people in the world will realize that Steve's far too big. So yes, we'll come over to scale and whilst selecting the main controller, we'll press 0 0.14 and change all the scale XYZ to 0 0.14 and pressing F we zoom in on him. And here he is, nice and Happy with his two swords. Um, the upload, uh, the demo link for this character doesn't actually contain him with the two swords. I'll probably upload it later, and I'll model all the other kind of tools for you. Now we've got him here, and oh, so you want your own skin? Um, we will not, not do that. Uh, go window, rendering hypershade. Open up the hypershade again and find Lambert 1. Now you probably want to rename this to uh, call Shrog and go to color character1.png I believe on my desktop under photos I have my nerd skin which I like very much. Now done. There we go. So kind of doesn't really fit quite right with the swords and all, but that doesn't matter. Another thing we can also do, whilst I'm at it, is apply a different texture to the swords. So, color, I believe I saved the, I've got them somewhere on my computer. Ah, here. So, I'll also check these up for download probably. And it's called Sword PNG. So there we go. Steve with two diamond swords. What a tank. And yeah, so that that's basically that. Now we're going to want to click on this icon here. Uh, under Render Using, click Mental Ray. And now click on Indirect Lighting. This here will come out way too bright, but 
that doesn't matter. And look at that, I believe it's already got global illumination set, so oh well. Now when we click render, he will come out rendered. So that's fine, but oh well. Um, you can change that later on. But anyway, there we go. So that's effectively all you need. Now we can also just delete Steve. Actually, we can't because he is locked. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or other questions, comments, don't be afraid to ask. I, I will reply. I love replying to my comments. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like it. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.